everybody. My name is Zohir Chaudhry, and right now we'll talk about recycling. Recycling is the process of collecting and processing material that would otherwise be thrown away as trash and turning them into new products. We all know what recycling is, what we throw in the blue bin. Um, uh, we have this blue bin in our home, we have this blue bin at work, and typical things that we throw are aluminum cans, paper, plastic, glass bottles, uh, etc. And these are the things that we know that um, we can recover um, through melting uh, the raw material so we don't have to extract the raw material all over again. So what are the pros? Uh, pros is that it can turn um, waste that would have gone into the landfill into an inexpensive resource. Um, it is much cheaper to recycle material than to um, extract material from uh, from uh, from scratch. Uh, also reduces the amount of waste sent to landfill and incinerators. Conserves natural resources such as timber, water, and minerals. Prevents air, water, and soil pollution by reducing the need to collect and manufacture new raw materials. And also it saves energy. In fact, recycling uh, some of these products uses a lot less energy as compared to making it from scratch. Um, in addition, uh, we also um, reduce greenhouse gas emissions and it helps to sustain the environment and create new jobs as well. But there are also some disadvantages to recycling. Um, right as of now, it's still poorly regulated. There are a few states such as California where recycling regulations are much more stringent. But overall in the US, the recycling regulation is still relatively poor. Uh, the pricing of recycled material fluctuates. And as a result, uh, the um, companies that are uh, relying the businesses of uh, from recycling, uh, they may or may not make a profit depending on the fluctuations of the material. Uh, also, uh, uh, customs and behavior, especially in the US, uh, throw away packaging, uh, one time uh, using usage product, they are very popular just because it's so easy to use them and it's also very cheap. Um, and current policies and regulations still favor extraction of raw material. There isn't a tax uh, on companies uh, for uh, not for re releasing material into the environment. There isn't really a tax uh, um, uh, in the U.S. Um, in here, you can see uh, the various numbers of recyclable plastic bottles codes. They're numbered with a uh, recycle triangle from one to seven. Uh, one is a very popular um, uh, plastic, PETE. -E. Uh, number two is HDPE. Uh, this is typically the milk jug. Um, and in fact, each of this material, one, two, three, four, five, is designated by what is made up of. So for example, in here, PET stands for polyethylene terephthalate, and uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's properly used for uh, storing beverages. And then as you go to number two, it's high density poly polyethylene, uh, HDPE or PEHD, um, and is used for a specific purpose. So the code refers to the specific material that uh, a plastic is made of. Um, in California, all of the seven uh, codes are recyclable in pretty much almost all of the municipalities that are uh, large enough. Another material that is uh, very interesting uh, to mention in here is auto batteries. Uh, and I'll show you some charts so you'll understand uh, why this is interesting. Uh, auto batteries contain lead and sulfuric acid, uh, and uh, uh, of course it's very dangerous uh, uh, for the environment, uh, and it can be recycled. So uh, these are the recycling rates for 2013 in the U.S. according to U.S. EPA. And in fact, I was just mentioning about lead acid auto batteries. Lead acid auto batteries are 99% recycled in the U.S as compared to, for example, steel cans or newspaper, which only two thirds is recycled. And as you go to the other ones, such as plastic bottles or HDPE number two bottles, only one third of what's produced is recycled. So a quick question, why do you think lead acid batteries are recycled so much as compared to, for example, the PETE plastic bottles and the HDPE um, 
uh, translucent, translucent milk gel. Why do you think these are not recycled as much within the US, whereas this one is? Yes, so the plastic bottles, there are just way too many out there. Um, the production rate and the user rate is very, um, very large. So it's relatively easy to lose track of the plastic bottles. It's much harder to recycle plastic bottles as compared to the lead acid battery in your automobile that probably your mechanic make changes for you in most of the time. Uh, and uh, you also get uh, uh, a credit for recycling your automobile battery. Uh, for the plastic bottles, some states gives you uh, five cents or 10 cents per bottle. Uh, most states do not. And in fact, if you look at a plastic bottle, you'll see that California has CRV uh, value. Uh, there are some other states such as Hawaii also gives you money back for your plastic, but most states do not have such programs. And without having an incentive, it's also very difficult to uh, recycle material, especially when it's so easy to dump it into the waste. Talking about California, California's Department of Natural Resource, Depart uh, uh, California Department of Resources Recycling uh, and Recovery, also is known as Cal Recycle, is in charge of the state's recycling and waste management program. Um, it has uh, has significant um, um, clout because uh, um, new laws have been implemented uh, that the state must divert 75% of its waste into recycling and composting or source reduction by 2020 and it's just two years from now um, and the state is probably uh, going to achieve uh, this goal uh, it's very um, um, it's, it's trying very hard to make sure that waste in California it's reduced here are some of the laws. AB or Assembly Bill 939 uh, passes 1989 in California, which uh, uh, diverted about 50% of waste by two, by 2000, otherwise it'll be a fine. Um, uh, the AB 32 is a greenhouse gas reduction, and then AB 341, which is passed in 2011, that's the one that will divert 75% of the waste uh, uh, from the landfill into recycling and composting and source reduction activity. Um, I'm told that in the upcoming future, California would end up going to 90% waste diversion um, uh, by, I think, 2050, with an objective of going zero waste in the future. That should be pretty interesting. There are examples from other countries as well. For example, in Germany or Japan, these are very big um, uh, recycle friendly countries. This is a picture that I took when I was in an airport in, in Japan. Um, honestly speaking, seeing so many beans uh, um, at the beginning, uh, I was pretty um, shocked. I didn't know what to put where. Uh, but of course, it took me a little while to figure out that the newspaper and the uh, magazine would go in here, uh, the cans would go there, uh, and uh, I, I, I understood um, uh, where to do things. So the sorting from the consumer point of view in Japan is very, very big. In fact, for those of you that have been to Japan, you'll know uh, that um, if in, 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 in at home, in the residences, when you're throwing your trash, you have to sort all of the material, what is recyclable plastic, recyclable glass, combustible material, uh, compostable material into its own bag, label it properly, and make sure that it's picked up on the scheduled day um, so that you are uh, you don't have your trash waiting for you in your home uh, essentially you have to do all of the work um, uh, very time consuming otherwise you're stuck with the waste at home germany also is very big on recycling um, it has it, it is it separates its waste into into multiple multiple bins from the consumer point of view but also uh, has m many laws and regulations that are very recycle friendly so let's do a quick concept check Recycling does not save energy since it takes more energy to recycle than to make new products with raw materials from Earth. That's false. That's correct. Recycle does save energy. Okay?
Thank you. That's all.